Hey guys, my name is Till and we're back with another quarantine tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at the best ways to post your Instagram stories from your Mac or computer. And unless you want to let your followers waiting, we should get right started. As we so far still can't leave Denmark and move to Norway to the cabin, I thought it would be a great idea to make some more tutorials. So today we're just going to have a look at two easy ways to post Instagram stories from your Mac or computer. For this video I'm going to use Google Chrome, but I think it should be doable in all big browsers. So let's jump straight into Chrome and start posting. The first way to post your stories is super simple. As soon as you have opened Chrome, just head over to your Instagram page and make sure that you on the Instagram page will be on your profile. From here on there isn't that much to do, you just have to open the developer tools of Google Chrome to be able to see the mobile version of Instagram. For that, you can just go in the settings bar of Google Chrome, hover over more tools and select developer tools. As you saw the shortcut, I prefer to press command option I to enter the developer tools directly. From here, there's not much to do. Just refresh the page to be able to start posting. Once you have refreshed the page, everything should basically look like you have it on your phone. You have the option to post pictures and all different tabs in the Instagram app. As soon as you go to your newsfeed, you will also see the camera icon that symbolizes that you're able to post Instagram stories. If you hit the camera icon, it will open your computer's or Mac's file browser and you can select the video or photo file that you would like to post in your stories. I'm just going for the JPEG that I posted early on my newsfeed to show you how that would look like. Just select the photo and hit open. Once you've done that, you basically have the story layout that you're used to from the phone. You also have the option to add text, use the pen tool or add GIFs to your desktop Instagram stories. Once that is done, you can just hit add to your story and post it. Sadly, the desktop version doesn't give you the option of any of the advanced story features that you know from the Instagram app. So there are no polls, no music options and no Q&As. I mean, come on Instagram, why are you not allowing us to do that on the desktop version as well? Well, that's basically it for the first method, but if you think that the developer tools looked a little irritating, I have a much cleaner setup for you in option number two. But for that, we first have to install a free Chrome extension called Insist. For that, just open any search engine and type in Insist Chrome extensions and hit enter. Normally, the first Google entry should be the right one. Once you've opened that, click Add to Chrome and confirm that you want to add the extension. If the installation was successful, there should be the Insist icon in your Chrome extension bar. Just click that to enter the user interface. On the welcome page, just click OK, let's go to get started. As I had installed that Chrome extension before, there might be one step missing in the tutorial. But I'm pretty sure that once you type in your username, Insist will auto-connect with the account that you were last logged in in your browser. Once you did that, we're ready to start sharing stories. As you can see, the Insist user face is much cleaner than using the developer tools in your browser. The user experience itself is pretty much the same than using Instagram on your phone. But even though the interface looks similar, there are still the same restrictions that we had earlier with the developer tools. Making stories in Insist still doesn't allow you to use any of the more advanced story tools. But I promise to make an updated version of this video once I've figured out a solution. In that regard, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, like the other videos, that helps me a lot. And if you're really eager to support, then click on the Patreon link in the description below. Now that the advertisement break is over, I still have a few more notes to Insist that I would like to share with you. What I like about Insist is that it gives us the option to customize our user interface. We can switch for example between day mode and night mode, which can be helpful when you prefer editing your photos on a white background rather than a grey one. And there's also the option to adjust the phone screen size to our liking by hitting the expand or collapse button. The paid version also includes insights, analytics and a post planner, but I haven't looked much into that. For now, I'm completely fine with the free version. In the end, I thought it was much easier to use Insist rather than the developer tools in your browser to share Instagram stories. And that's why I also thought that this video would be a good idea. But that's basically it from me today. I'll make sure to update you as soon as we make it to Norway. I will probably start vlogging there anyways. And until then, make sure to keep posting and I'll see you on Instagram or here.